God, you are welcome to another wonderful edition on the Word of Grace. Today is 26th of May 2022. I pray that the Lord will keep you as you go in the name of Jesus. His hand rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will lift you above the orders of life in Jesus' name. I speak over your life that whatever you lay your hands upon, God will make you to prosper in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over your life you are surrounded with favor. Mercy of God will speak for you and speak on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Nothing missing, nothing broken, everything working out well for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. The word of grace for today is taken from the book of Psalm 56 and I read verse 1 to 4. It says, Be merciful to me, O God, for man would swallow me up. Fighting all day, he oppresses me. My enemies would hunt me all day, for there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. He says, Be merciful unto me, for men will want to swallow me up. He said the enemy surrounded him all around, and they were there to swallow him up. And because of that, he said, it is true. I'm not going to deny it that I feel fear coming to me. But he said, whenever I am afraid, I have decided to trust in the Lord. And he said, the way to deal with fear is that I will take the word of God, and I'll begin to look towards the word of God and praise my God through his word. That is the best way to deal with fear. It is true that there are things that you have seen around you, in your finance, in your business, things you see going up around your marriage, things you see in the life of your children, or you have seen some signs or symptoms in your body that are signaling to a major or a dangerous sickness or disease. But you have the choice to make, and because of those things you have seen, then you become afraid. But you have the choice to make, either to continue in fear or to go back to faith. But David said, this is decisions that I have taken. Whatever I am afraid of, he said, I will still continue to trust in you. I will trust in you as I look towards your word. I'm going to praise you through your word. And as I put my trust in your word, I make a decision that I will not fear what anyone can do to me. Hallelujah. That is the way to deal with your fear. When you feel fear coming towards you, then what you need to do is to take hold on the word of God and praise God through his word. Because fear is spirit. The Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. That is to let you know that fear is a spirit. And the only way you can deal with fear is to attack fear in the spirit. That's why David said, I will praise the Lord in his word, and by that I'm going to overcome my fear. Because he understood what the word of God said in the book of John chapter 6 verse 63, he said, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life carrier. The only way you can deal with spirit is to take hold of the spirit. So you are going to make your battle to be spirit to spirit. And that is the truth I'm here to share with you today, that it is true things around you may want to scare you situation around you may want to make you afraid but instead of looking at what is scaring you then make a choice to look at the word of god paul said in the book of second corinthians where i look not at the things which are seen he said for the things which are seen are temporal he said but i've decided to look on things that are eternal even though the eternal things are not visible to me and that is my counsel for you today what are you looking at you make a choice on what you'll be looking at He said, whatever I am afraid, I will rather look unto the word of God, and by that it will help me to trust him instead of looking towards my fear. Make your battle of fear to be spirit to spirit. Anytime you feel fear, take the promises of God with you and set your gaze on it. As you keep looking at that promise of God, it is going to develop spirit of boldness and faith in you. Because the opposite of fear is actually faith. When fear is on ground, faith disappears. And when faith arrives, fear goes. And that's what you need to know. So, I want you to make the battle of fear to be spirit to spirit in your life. When you are afraid, that is the spirit of fear attacking you. 
take hold on the word of God because the word of God is the spirit of God himself. And I pray that God Almighty will be with you and you shall come out as an overcomer over the situation and circumstances of your life in Jesus' name. I decree and declare over your life you are a winner in the name of Jesus. Every power of darkness that has been let loose against you, I take authority over them in the name of Jesus. Every program of hell over your life, I shut it down in the name of Jesus. I speak over your life. Blessing is yours in Jesus' name. As you set out today, the spirit of fear will not have a hold upon your life in Jesus' name. I release upon you the baptism of the spirit of faith. And wherever you turn, mercy of God will speak for you. It is a good day for you in Jesus' name. Go and prosper and return with testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I believe the word of grace today has blessed your life. The Lord God Almighty will keep you, be with you in Jesus' name. For any prayer, inquiries, or questions, you can send message to me through the WhatsApp number displayed on your screen. And you can also go on our YouTube channel and subscribe there. Anytime we upload, is going to alert you. Till I see you tomorrow on another edition of the Word of Grace. Keep on enjoying the grace of God. God bless you. Amazing grace is the sweetest sound that saved my life. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now.